York. And I, I just want to say to you that I don't too much go to clubs anymore only because I did that when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> and I did all the clubbing that anybody they ever need to do again. <laughs> But I just want to say this thing, that no person, living or dead, will ever be able to make me be afraid to go to a club if I want to. Yeah. <laughs> I will never be afraid of who I am and how God made me. I will never be ashamed of myself. I will not let my children or my grandchildren see me ducking and hiding because I'm afraid for someone to know that I am a proud, same gender loving woman. Because I am afraid to let someone know that I am a radical Christian who is not afraid of anybody's faith. In fact, I embrace them all. I'm not going to let anybody see me die and run and hide because I'm afraid of what they might say or even do. I want you to hear me to say that Islam, say it like this, ISIS is not Islam. <laughs> Islam. People who love God, I'm speaking to the spiritual ones among us and to those who have no faith, no faith path at all. It does not matter. We're still in it together. People who love God and who love humanity carry smiles and kind words. People who don't love God and don't love humanity call, carry weapons and they're dominated by fear. What can we do? Yes, it is time. It is past time to do something about the guns. I know that guns don't kill people. People do. Melt all the but guns. But it's people with guns. <laughs> so it's time to do something about the guns. But even after we do that, what are we going to do about the hate? How are we going to come against the hate? It's the hate that makes the gun lethal. So I'm thinking that what we can do is remember that even nature teaches us that from the, 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 what looks like the death of all things springs some form of life. When you see a burnt out tree, if you look closely, you'll see a little green bud coming up. In the middle of the winter, if you ever go to a place where it's winter, and spring is on its way, because it doesn't get winter around. If you see snow, you might actually see a little daffodil bloom coming out. Sometimes, the worst things can be redeemed by the most beautiful things that endure in spite of it. So I'm asking us to endure today, to never let fear rule, to never let hate rule, to be a cloud of witness of what love can be and what love can do. And in that way, we can smother the hate that is coming for all of us one day or another. We can smother it if we stand together are more of us than there are of them. We can smother it if we stand together in patience, in faith, in strength, in power, and in love. We can smother the embers of hate. Thank you. Good evening.